I said, yo. What's up, everybody? I'm Amber. This is Amber's Logic. Got a new video for you today. We got episode 69 of Milwaukee Bucks Trades, Rumors and News. Before we get into it, you know the spiel. Comment, like, subscribe, and share this electrifying content with the people. Y'all know we're here to talk about what happened last night between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Bucks lose on the road, 114-102. It's just the same song and dance. So we moved the positions around in this game. This game, it wasn't a guard that had a career night. This this game was a power four. Evan Mobley had 38 a career night. It's like teams have figured out something in us and they can just exploit us or they have a, ploy, a player that can exploit us. It's actually getting out of hand. But can, like, when, like I say over and over again, when a player gets hot on the Bucks, he's having a career night. We can't do anything to stop it. It's absolutely crazy how that happens with the Bucks. This was a winnable game, in my opinion. Y'all let me know if I'm tripping in the comment section. This, I still, I, I don't, we, sh we could we could have won this game. Playing smarter, the turnovers again. Drew having six turnovers. Yes, he put up 20-some points, but he had six turnovers that really hurt us. It, 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 you know what? This is what it comes down to with the Bucks. Could the Bucks win a championship with the current roster? Sure. But everything would have to go right. Matchups. Players would need to be playing at their absolute peak for us to win. Because we do not have the coaching staff to assist these players and make them better or make smart decisions as far as rotations, who's playing, who's not playing, and make it make sense. So if that's the case, we need more talent. We need talent that's going to supersede our lack of coaching. Period. Period. I'm, before y'all, oh, Giannis didn't play. We are good enough without Giannis to beat that Cleveland team without Donovan Mitchell and Jared App. Period. We're, we're good enough to beat them. But when you turn the ball over, you, 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 you're, you're not playing smart defense. These are the things that happen. You lose against shorthanded teams like Cleveland. This was a winnable game. It's just the same song and dance. Lack of adjustments. Bad decision making. Turnovers. Getting out rebounded. It's the same song and dance. So frustrating with the Bucks. Shouldn't be losing to this team without they got two of their main guys. Bobby Porters did his thing. Same old, same old. 23 points, 11 rebounds, 5 of 8 from 3. But his defense is still suspect, let's be clear. Lopez had a slow night, 10 points, 0 for 6 from three-point line. Uh, Drew Holiday offensively played outstanding again, 12-27, uh, 1 of 5 from 3, 3 of 3, 10 assists, but six turnovers were crucial, which is why he has a minus 6 uh, plus minus with uh, 28 points. Connaughton actually had a good game. He was 5-11, 3 of 8, 15 points, uh, Seven rebounds, four assists, solid game. Grayson Allen gave us nothing in almost 30 minutes, eight points. War has three points. Grant, I said Grant Hill. I wish we did have Grant Hill. George Hill, five points. Javon Carter, two points. Ingles played almost 30 minutes and, and had eight points. And this is the main problem with this team. Our bench is not consistent. We don't have real scores or gunners on our bench. And this is why we have the inconsistency. If the Connaughton could give us 15 a game off the bench, that would be awesome. But that's not going to be – that's not realistic. We have to get some talent there. We have to move people. I don't care if we move Middleton at this point. Let's move Middleton. We need some young gunners in here to help this man, Giannis. Let him rest. He carried us long enough. Let him rest. When is Middleton coming back? I know they're supposed to come back next game. We'll see. It's just – Let's take advantage of the trade deadline and this window that the Milwaukee Bucks have win a championship. It's just getting the right players in here. We shouldn't be losing to this team. I, we shot decent, 45%, 35% from three, 90% from the line. But it was the 14 turnovers, and we got out-rebounded again. Not by much, but still 36 to 41. The main difference in this game, I could tell you, Garland had 21. But the main, th the main thing is Evan Mobley at 38. He had 38. Why is he getting 38? It, 
This team ain't right. It's just so inconsistent. You, Grayson now to have 21 games and have six. He's like Ty Day back in the day. It, it's just we have to get some trades in here, y'all. We're, we're, we're not a championship team. We might not even be able to get out the first round with our current roster. We don't have any bench. We don't have a coach that can adjust when things are being thrown at us. We need talent in here ASAP. I'm not going to even make this video that long. It's just frustrating to watch the same song and dance over. I thought we were getting over the turnover thing. I thought we were getting over some of some of the mistakes defensively. We just got to get some talent in here. I just, I, I'm just so frustrated. If the, if the energy is up and down, and then the rotation, you don't know who's playing, who's not playing. It's just chaos. Get talent in here. Get this coach out of here. Unbelievable. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I, I'm just frustrated right now. We we need to make some changes around here. I, I, we, we can't get Bud out of here. Just get as many much talent as we can in here. Uh, I, this is episode 69, Milwaukee Bucks, trades, rumors, and news. Bucks lose on the road to a shorthanded Cleveland team. 114-102. Evan Mobley has a career night. Another player with a career night against the Bucks. Let's talk about in the comment section. We we about to trade some people. This is this is this ain't it. This ain't it. Go. On.